I think when we think of J setting or the, the term J set, um, that type of dance is definitely grounded in the majorette form of dance. But over the years, the J sets have definitely added our own twist to it. And um, when you think of J setting, you think of energy, you think of precision, you think of acrobatics. Put all that into one to make a form of dance that has been all our own. I think something that we have definitely come up with over the years, it has evolved into this form of dance that everyone loves to see. I think what's different about the JC style is that it incorporates and it encompasses all different things. Like you may have a pirouette and a bop my hair, but then you have a shake and a pump pump over here with it. So it incorporates, I guess, a bit of African jazz ballet, and then you have the acrobatic sense of it that's just been incorporated in the late 90s, early 2000s. And it's like you see these uh, dancers and they're moving and they're doing all different things and they can do a cartwheel here and then they get back up and they're doing something else here and they're doing it and then they get up and they just march off like nothing happened and it's just like boom, there it is. So I think that's the, the wow factor of it and I think that's what makes it different. Um, J setting is basically dancing with class. Like you have class and then you have like this powerful other type of, you know, appearance to you. So basically a pricing J setting would resemble like a horse. It's beautiful, you know, it has the beautiful mane, but it prances when you see it. You can hear it coming when you see it, yeah. So that's what I would describe Jason and to be. Depend on the captain and what she's feeling or what her squad's, you know, feeling like. We we don't limit anybody. Like if you have a suggestion, we say it. Oh, we can do this move, like the hip hop move or whatever. And okay, that's cute. We can use it. It's not like oh, that's not Jason. Oh, that's not Jason. If it if it looks good, we're gonna do it. So it's pretty much really really diverse, and you never know what you're gonna do in another routine. It's not predictable which is what I like about it. Um, a lot of the other teams that um, that we see, they're more, um, we're more flat-footed, we dance flat-footed. Um, most of the other teams that I've seen, they dance on relevate or they dance on their toes. Um, and theirs is kind of a little bit more prissy. Ours is a little more in your face. With a little prissy, with a little um, pizzazz, I guess you would say. That's my own opinion. So ours is more grounded and flat footed, is where other teams are just a little more prissy. Some of the signature moves that we do in J setting one is called bucking. Bucking is a, a very, a very intense movement, signature movement of J-Sets. Um, it requires all of you, <laughs> from your hands to your toe, like everything has a movement, everything has a placement. It's, it's like a, it's like a very forceful movement. When we say buck, it's like, it's really, it's really like a very, very deep arch in your back. If it's like so you move your chest, you move everything. It's like a it's like a one movement type move and it's really, really powerful. And that's what we're known for because nobody else bucks like we do. So um, you have to not only arch your back, you have to stick your chest out and stick your butt out as well. So it's all of that, plus the arm movements and squatting. And it's basically ensuring that you're dancing properly for a J-set. So yeah, you have to learn how to book before you can get out into the stands. And it's crazy like how hard, like you would think bucking would be easy, 
Oh, okay, yeah, you're just arching your back. No. No, it's not easy. <laughs> it's very hard. And we also have a march that's called Salt and Pepper. Um, a lot of people try to emulate that, but they can't quite do it like us. Um, but it's definitely a style of um, marching that we've coined over the years, and we have definitely, definitely perfected that. I believe it's called Salt and Pepper because when you're flicking with your right, you're throwing the salt. And then when you're flicking with your left, you're throwing the pepper. We have different marches, but it's really, we're really known for Salt and Pepper. Um, bucking the scarecrow in the pool. That's like in our pretty girl walk and our J set strut. That's what we're really known for, like our um, signature moves during parades and that move dance movement when we're dancing. So that's, yeah, that's pretty much what we're known for. But we have um, a surplus um, um, of different movements that we use, but we're known for those that I named. We have uniforms for days, like a lot of uniforms. A lot of them are really, really old, but we have a lot of new ones as well. So it just depends on like what we want to wear. Like we have a list of uniforms, like just completed uniforms that we have. So we have different uniforms that we can pick from, from new to old. Okay. Um, this is our locker room in all its glory. Uh, we start to the left with all of our blue uniforms and we fade into white and silver with the rest of them and then we have our specialty items like our cuffs and boots and practice and pit rally outfits. A lot of them I guess during my era were named after song. The one that they have out is called Sexy Back. And during the time, um, Justin Timberlake had the song, I'm Bringing Sexy Back. So we were like, oh yeah, we're bringing Sexy Back. So that's the name of that one. Uh, this one is Five Star. And I'm guessing that was from the song Five Star Chick. And I guess it made everybody look like a five star chick. <laughs> I'm guessing. I wasn't here. So, but that's a nice one. It's one of our navy ones. This one is not a fan favorite. It's not a fan favorite. Um, but this is car wash. So these are the bottoms. And this is the top. And I bet, I bet you can see why. You know, it's called car wash because it looks like those uh, I guess scrubbers or wipers that they use in the car wash, so this car wash, but it's not a fan favorite. I'm not sure because it's not form fitting, so and it you know it sparkles in the light, but that's pretty much it. This is Dominique, I like it, it's so classy. It's it like it has like a little nice sweetheart neckline, <laughs> and like it's like sheer and stuff. I love it. It's called Dominique, and my name is Dominique. <laughs> <laughs> the way you feel when you're performing in front of a crowd is just mind blowing. Like Sometimes you'll think, oh my God, I'm a J Sid. And you know what I'm saying? I was dreaming this, dreaming of this my whole life. Or sometimes some people might feel nervous. Oh my God, I don't want to mess up, you know? Or I hope I don't fall while coming up the ramp trying to do a ramp kick. It's just, it all depends on your methods of being in front of a crowd, you know? So. Um, I'm going to miss some more of um, coming to the games, like, when we enter in the stadium and like just seeing everybody stand up when we play Get Ready and like being in the stands and everybody looking and you just getting to dance all the time. And it's kind of not like the real world yet, so you still get to have fun. So I'm going to miss just having fun with them most, the most. So it's kind of like, it's a good feeling always just to know that like you're motivating someone or it's a little girl looking up to you either way it goes. Like at the games, you can hear people screaming your name and it's kind of like, 
okay, well, I know I can't mess up because I want this feedback. I don't want nobody to say, oh, she messed up. So, it's really like, I would say, it's, it's motivating. Even when they're criticizing, they're still motivated because you take that in. So. I think it builds self-esteem. Um, a lot of times you'll see um, when we have different schools and different people come just to meet the JFET, um, they'll ask questions like, well, what, do you do? what else do you do on campus? Or how do you maintain this and, um, with your school work? Or um, just different questions like that. So I think it builds self-esteem to be able to dance and keep a grade point average or do other things while being a J6, I think. So I think the main thing is self-esteem. Um, dance is a sport, I think, that while it enables you to express yourself, you know, by utilizing your body, it also helps to free your mind. It's something about dance that you get to just get lost in dance. You know, if you're having a bad day, if you're having situations going on, a lot of girls always tell me when I come to practice, I leave that at the door. When I'm dancing, I don't think about any of that. So while they're getting an opportunity to show their talent, it's also like a stress reliever. Um, it gives you a sense of confidence. And I think to become an entrepreneur, you have to have a level of confidence. Uh, you know, you have to really believe in yourself. I think being a J said helped to instill that in me. They gave me the boost that I needed to one day, like I did, you know, open up my own dance studio. Um, you know, I grew up whereas I wasn't always the most confident person, but when I put that J said uniform on, it was like I became a different person. You know, and it just kind of instilled those values in me that, you know, you're just as good as anyone else. You can do anything that anyone else can. So that eventually led me to be able to start my own dance team and to open up my own dance studio. When you're looking at the J6, it's not just certain people looking, it's like the world looking. So it's the thrill of a billion eyes. Like when you see the J6, you kind of get energy, it makes you want to dance too. So it's like a thrill to be like around. So that's why I think the thrill of being nice. So when we say it, we're kind of like, okay, we're thrilled, so we have to go out here and give them something to jump up out their seats about or talk about when they leave the game. Um, pretty much it just means how we're dancing, we're dancing in front of a thousand people, um, a, a billion people, um, and all their eyes are on us. So. The, with a thrill of a billion eyes, a thrill of a thousand eyes. So that's pretty much what it means. Like everyone's eyes are on us. The thousands of people, I mean, the, the millions of people who are in the stadium or in the, the facility or wherever we're at, the eyes are on us.